This is a Steam Greenlight trailer for Test. This is the trailer. No, I'm not fucking with you. I'm not fucking with you. This is the trailer. And I'm not doing this to say that the trailer isn't there. I am quite literally running the trailer footage as you're hearing this. You are looking at the trailer footage. The, I actually got the video file and I'm using it. I didn't need to. Clearly I didn't need to, but I did it anyway. I mean, I'm not saying that as if that's some laudable task, some great noble deed I did. You know, it's not... It didn't take any real effort. It just took more effort than was necessary. It was just a waste of my time. It didn't really need bringing up, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. It's just a black screen. Uh, I don't... I feel... I'm, is it just me? But, but I feel a little uncomfortable um, between us. Uh, this is a 10 minute long video. Um, and I'm going to go for the whole 10 minutes. Uh, so, I, d I don't know. Uh, again, I feel like me and you, rather you and I, uh, are, are not... It's a little awkward, isn't it? Uh, I I'm going to just put up... Some, I'm going to put on some music. Just to, just to help things along. There we go. See, that's that's more like it. It's not been a hugely eventful week for me this this week. Uh, I did note on Twitter that the Jimquisition is uh, changing a few things in the AV department. Uh, not not moving away from the format uh, or, or many familiar elements. Uh, you know, I'm still there with my glasses and my hat and the red and black and, and stuff like that. But uh, the whole militant planes and tanks thing and all that just just doesn't fit the style of the show anymore, which has become more of a bizarre circusish menagerie. So we're we've been working on uh, making a few alterations, uh, a few 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 bits of re-outfitting. So I'm I'm excited about that and a little bit nervous because people don't like change in general. Uh, people like the familiar, so when they tune into regular things, uh, but hopefully people like it. I love what it, like I've got most of it ready. We're just waiting for one last thing before we uh, roll out. Uh, but I'm excited and uh, a little bit uh, nervous, but, but, but hopefully people love it as much as I do. It'll be quite fun anyway, finding that out. Justin McDaniel, the new art director, has been doing fantastic work and I'm really thrilled. We, we brought him on full time, basically. First full time contracting for the gym position. And. And yeah, he, he, the show is going to get so good with him helping out. I'm really excited. It's really cool. I mean, if this had happened during a more interesting week, if I had a 10 minute video to fill during a, a, a more interesting week, then, then we could... I mean, it's fun to pretend that we're going to go for, for 10 minutes, isn't it? It's fun to pretend, but let's face it, that was a lofty goal. Uh, let's just stop looking at the shitty blank screen. Let's move on to the description and all of that. Here we go. Description. Test. Screenshot number one. Test. Screenshot number two. Test. Screenshot number three. Test. Screenshot number four. Test! What does the official box art look like? That's what the official box art looks like. And that was Test. The video game Test. On green light! Hello you wet bandits, Jim Sterling here. And did you know that I still have temper tantrum on my computer? I was just looking through seeing if there were uh, any old gems that are no longer available on Steam that I uh, still had knocking about and I still I still got this one. I thought I'd uh, just play this for a little bit, give you your, your money's worth. Not that you're paying for this, uh, really. Because this is not really a Jimquisition-y thing, what we're doing right now. So, 
even if you wanted to make the Patreon argument, you're still not really paying for this one. That's, that's how that works. So, if you're unfamiliar with Temper Tantrum, it's, a, it's an interesting game. Where you are a little boy who doesn't want to go to bed. And they've told him to, like, you know, give it a rest and leave it. But he won't take the advice. So he's basically just wrecking his own shit in response. It's a game that says a lot about the human condition. Uh, it is very much the What Remains of Edith Finch of movies. Even though it isn't a movie, that's just how transcendent it is as a media thing. So we've picked up some candy. That lets us do that. We smash the monster up. Now, you may be wondering how we're destroying the things in the house. Uh, we're just really walking into them. You notice there's been a mouse cursor on the screen the whole time. I'll get rid of that. I think the recorder will show it. If it didn't, then I've got nothing to apologize for, but I didn't notice it until now. That may have frustrated some of you. This game doesn't hide that, uh, the, the cursor. I'm using the, the old WASD movement. W-A-S-D movement keys. This is level two. It's basically the same gig, really. The same music, the same characters. There will be other aliens, though, at some point. The title menu promised that much, and it makes good on its promises. Like at uh, one point, the game's developer, um, I forget who it was, Sonic Team maybe. Uh, I know at one point they promised they wouldn't be bothered to fix the fact that the camera swings horribly and gives people motion sickness. And they made good on, on that promise. Might not have been Sonic Team, it might have been Capcom. Or Ubisoft Montreal. Now, one thing this game does that's very handy, very intuitive, in fact, um, is that it has Break Me written on everything that's breakable. And Sweet Treat on everything that's sweet and a treat. That way, you, you know what to break. The garish colour scheme and nightmarish ghoulish camera uh, makes it often hard to see the breakable things, even with the text, because it's just a, a, a wreckage of colours. But, you know, that's compensated for by the fact that when you do see the breakable things, the main character is very difficult to control. So, that balances it out, because even when you do find the things you can break, you have a hell of a time steering this little dump truck of a bastard into things, you see. Now, this game, I don't know how long this game lasts. I've never gotten to the end of it. Uh, before now, in fact, I'd only ever played 18 minutes of it. We did a Jim Impressions video of it, uh, which this isn't. This is a Best of Steam Greenlight trailers video for the hotly anticipated video game Test. Now, we don't know what Test will look or sound or play like, so could test could test be temper tantrum 2 now there was a temper tantrum 2 but i don't think it ever existed like we did a a, tr uh, a steam greenlight trailer video for it because it was trying to get on steam greenlight uh, but i don't know if it was ever released maybe it was on itch.io i don't know um 
I don't care. But this could be a stealth release. Oh, we got hit by a monster. It's nap time. Uh, you don't want the monsters to catch you. So, not readily apparent within the bounds of the game itself as you play why the monsters are in the house and why they're the ones putting you to sleep. But, uh, I made a joke about Sonic Team earlier, but it does remind me of some Sonic the Hedgehog games. Like, there, there's some Sonic 06 in this, for sure. Oh, dear. It kind of makes you miss the black screen, doesn't it? Really. It's like, I'd rather have nothing than this. I say that, I've got the power to turn this off, but I'm still, for some reason, trying to complete this. There are no camera controls, by the way. So, there's no really looking around to find what I've missed. Because you've just got to do this to look around. That's how you rotate the camera a full 360 degrees. You see. I mean, not that there's any point to criticising this game. It's not available for sale or anything. It's just... It's just impossible not to talk about a game sometimes. Without... without doing that, because there's nothing else to say. Never subscribe to that idea of if you've got nothing nice to say, say nothing at all. There are plenty of other things you can say. It's what the, uh, the old free speech is all about, isn't it? Is your right to play temper tantrum instead of Talking about a 10 minute long empty screen. That's specifically what it says in the Constitution. It says you've got the right to play temper tantrum when you want. Don't argue it with me. Argue it with the people who wrote the Constitution. The King of England. <laughs> <laughs>